Okay, today's video is all about putting in what the parts stores call a operator. And I'm gonna show you the new one and what it is. It's a mechanism that allows you to open and close the roll up doors on trailers or box trucks uh, without having to hurt yourself. And that it keeps tension on the cables. And what has happened, and I'll show in the video here, one of the springs on the operator that's in the trailer right now that I'm getting ready to remove has broken. So we have a brand new one right here. And I'm hoping I got all the parts I need. So first thing I did was go ahead and put vice grips on the rails. So when I release the sprint, the tension on the cable that still has tension it's not going to go flying off the end of the rail and i got another set of vice grips up closer to the end there so it can't go forward first thing i'm going to do is go ahead and get that cable if it shows up on camera i'm not sure if it does come down here get the tension off this cable here is has actually come off of the spool because the spring broke and no tension. Okay, as I relieve the tension, I'm gonna be putting a bar in these holes to prevent it from flying and me getting hurt. Gotta get the nuts to loosen up first. There we go. That one. And there's two nuts. There's one here, one here. As you should be able to see in the video. Now, I gotta make sure I'm putting tension on it the proper direction. Otherwise, this bar can slip out real easy. <clears throat> Working behind my head makes things a little more difficult. Gotta think about which way the bolt turns. As you notice, I went ahead and tightened that one back up so I can move the bar because we have a good bit of tension on right now. Even though it's only one spring, there's still a lot of tension on it. All right, this is what I'm gonna be doing until I get all the tension off the spring. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Okay, now all we're gonna be doing, we have a bracket here and a bracket on both ends. We're gonna go ahead and uh, unbolt these brackets. And I brought a couple pieces of square tubing stock and I'm going to put one at each end so when I do get the uh, operator down or unbolted it's not just going to fall and hit the floor I want to let it down easy because I have to take some pieces off and put on the new one but at this point it's just unbolting it at all just like this we have two bolts here and then we, like I said, I have a bracket on both ends and then let it sit on that square, square stock. And I brought a rope with me that I should be able to put around this bracket here and allow it to come down a lot easier. Okay, I did a little assuming. I assumed that there were just uh, bolts here. It's not a bolt that's holding it in, it's actually a quarter pin and there's nothing on the other side so I gotta take this quarter pin out it's right here I don't know how well it's showing up on camera but I gotta take the quarter pin out and then finish unbolting the center I'm glad I didn't totally unbolt the center once I unbolt the center I should be able to turn the rod 
and be able to get the carter pin out because it's shoved in from the other side. And luckily I brought a drill so I can drill a hole to put the carter pin in on the new one. Okay, the quarter pin's loose. Now I can unbolt the center. All right, I'm gonna have to move the ladder over. Now this center bracket here is actually in two pieces. So once I go ahead and get the bolts off, only half of it's gonna be coming down. Just this half. And what this bracket here does is keeps this bar from turning. And that's what allows you to go ahead and tighten up on the other pieces to put tension. Okay, luckily I did bring a hammer. Unfortunately, I left it down below. I'll be right back. In case I didn't mention this, I am working, this is the roof right here. So I'm working up here next to the roof. These are studs, so I'm not worried about the uh, bolts. There we go. Now I just have to get it off the bar. And I'll leave it up here with the nuts because I'm going to need it. I'm not going to need it until I put the other one up here. But now, this whole thing will rotate and allow me to get to the other side of the quarter pin at the other end. There we go. All right, so now hopefully I can get slide it and get it to drop onto those square pieces of tubing I showed you. I'm gonna put this one back in place. I moved it when I had to come over. That was my finger. All right, so we got that side out. It should be this way now. Yep. All right, it's out. Okay, I'm looking at things. This new one, it's already got two holes in it right here. Uh, that second one's not all the way through, so I'm gonna have to drill the second one. But at least we have a place to put uh, the two quarter pins because once I got this down, I discovered there's a second quarter pin. So I gotta go ahead and drill that, but I gotta get that quarter pin out and then I'll go ahead and get the drill. Okay, the reason I wasn't sure about how everything's going, this is actually the first time I've done this, but I have been talking to a trailer mechanic that says he's done many of these, and he said there are different types, but <clears throat> I just brought unit bits because I wasn't sure if I was even going to need the drill or drill bits. But seeing how there's only one hole and I need two, I have to drill a hole. Now the other side I think is, yeah, see this side is, both holes are drilled. It's just in the manufacturing of it. <coughs> this one slipped by. It shouldn't take much. Okay, that's good enough for the quarter pins to go through. That's all we need. Okay, it's got a little noisy in here. So I'm hoping everybody can hear me. I went ahead and had a forklift pick this up and put it up here on the flat bars. So, I mean, this is fairly simple. I'm just going to slide it in this hole after I get it in the other hole. Because this one has the car keys on it. So, unfortunately, this one isn't going to slide in far enough. So, i got to go to the other side. And on the other side, it's got a bracket just like this. I'm going to stick the bar in there 
so it slides far enough and then I'm going to come back to this side and slide this one in and then we'll be able to put it on the center. Okay, I've got it slid in the other side so now we'll just have to slide it in this side because we'll be able to move it far enough over to be able to get it in. But just have to argue with it a little bit to get it up in there just like that and now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the other Carter key in I got this one in on this side I just have to put the one on that side okay as you probably can see where I can't I got the Carter pin in there I just have to go ahead and bend it so it can't come out I don't want to go too radical because these are Unfortunately, I don't have my bus or my trailer. So I just want to make sure that it can't come out just like that. Okay, now we've got both ends in. We can actually get rid of the square bars. That was one hidden door. The other one I can't reach right now. So the next step is bolting the center in. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put the bracket back on here and now lock this piece here in place because with the Carter pins it can't move sideways. It's kind of fairly simple. I mean, just go ahead and put it on here. Might have to rotate a little bit to get the studs to line up or might have to tap it a little bit to get it up in there because it's not going all the way on the bar. So, yeah, that's looking better. It's a big thing you don't want to do is mess the threads up. There we go. It just, once I got it in place, it just went ahead and went in as you've seen. And then you just take these nuts and put them on the studs, tighten them up. And you've seen how I went ahead and I was uh, letting the tension off the springs. Well, we're just going to do the same thing, just in the opposite direction to adjust the springs, the cable tension actually, once I get this bolted up. And this bracket here is what prevents the center bar from turning. And if that center bar turns, then when you go to tighten up these pieces and you let the tension let off of it, it just, the center bar would just go ahead and turn and you'd be never able to tighten up on the springs but just like the other one it has these bolts that you go loosen up once I like keep the right size just like that and there's one on the back side that I gotta loosen up and I want to make sure it turns because I'm going to have to turn it to be able to hook the cables up. Now I'm gonna to have to take my vice grips and put back on the rail because when I start putting tension on the springs, it's gonna to wanna to pull the door. And that's the last thing I wanted to happen because my head's in between the door and here. So I need to be able to hold the door from closing up on the gap. I'm gonna put a lot of tension on it while it's in this position and once I have what I think is good tension, then what I'll do is go ahead and let the door down. And then I'll be able to access this because the door will be down here. And I'll have to continue to adjust this. And what I'll be looking for is I'm going to be looking for the door to start coming up. I, I don't want it to come up a lot. Uh, when I start, the door is going to be down on the floor. When I start putting more tension on the cables. I want to see maybe a 16th of an inch on the first one, and then I'll come to the other side and I'll continue to put tension on that cable until the door actually starts to come up again. And that should be about right. A lot of people will uh, count the turns. That's a, a good way to make sure everything's even also. Plus with me moving the door back, it's gonna actually allow me to get a longer swing okay well 
it didn't I didn't get it really loose so it didn't spring all the way back Okay, I'm not going to show you me continuously doing this. I mean, all I'm doing is turning a little bit, loosen up the next bolt with the proper size. Tighten it up some more. Keep going until the tension feels right. And don't slip because you have to start all back over. And I'm starting to feel the tension. It's not nowhere near where I want it. But I am feeling tension. And when you're doing this, you got to try and push in on the hole so you don't slip out. If you slip out, you got to start all back over. What I keep doing is I keep coming over here to the cable. And I pull on the cable, see how much tension there is. We got a good gap here, so right now with the tension that's on there, if I release the vice grips, it's going to come up here and it's going to be loose because there's not enough tension on it. I want it to where it's fairly snug to where I'm having a lot of trouble pulling. Right now I'm not. So I got to keep going. Probably won't take much more to get it where I need it to start with the other side. As much effort as I'm putting in this, I'm thinking I bring the bolts back around. I'll probably be able to start on the other side. And the other side's gonna be the same as this side. Just wrap the cable up, make sure you can spin this like it is. And then just keep adjusting here on this one, like I'm doing here. I wanna bring both bolts around so I can access them when I close the door rather easily. You gotta be careful because if you slip out, and you have the wrench in the wrong place it could break your hand okay i got it to where i can get to both bolts so i'm going to tighten this up on both of them so they don't move and then i'm gonna go ahead and move the ladder wrap the cable up on this one and do the same exact thing i did over here over here so and then I'm going to close the door and like I described I'm going to try and get the door to come up just a little bit on one and then go to the other one get it to come up some more and I should be able to lift the door without a problem at that point with one hand. There's no reason to show you duplicate because this is basically a duplicate to this side. So I'm going to end the video here uh, but go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, the bell icon. And please watch my other videos and help me grow this channel. Thank you.